bag. Let's see what's in my bag. This is my money disc. I love this for control. Barbers. Let the disc do the work and fly. Classic great AVRs. Great, great disc. Hi, my name's Madison Walker. Uh, this is my in the bag. I'm from Pensacola, Florida. My PDGA number is 59431, and I'm sponsored by Innova Champion Discs, uh, Adidas Outdoor, Upper Park Bags, and Whale Stacks. Um, well, I'm gonna start with my drivers. Um, actually, weirdly, I'm gonna start with the newest disc in my bag. This is the Star Strike. Um, they gave us the G-Star Strike to try out and I needed something a little bit more stable. So I went with the Star Strike. It's a uh, 166. Um, it has the pretty rainbow stamp. <laughs> uh, it, flight numbers are 13-6, negative 2-2. I generally like to keep the last two numbers equaling out to about zero. So I like the negative two fade, uh, or turn and the two fade. Um, this one is my quote unquote bomber disc. It goes, it's the farthest disc in my bag and I pull it out um, if there's a tailwind as well. Um, I do not like it in a headwind, but it goes farther than any disc I've ever thrown. Next in my bag, we have the Star Turn. Um, I had this in my bag. This was originally my bomber disc that I threw farther than all the other ones, but as it got a little bit beat in, it was a little too flippy for me. So um, I took it out for a while when I found the strike, but I've added it back in because it's so good for turnover shots and for uh, a tailwind. Um, it's a 168, definitely a little bit on the lighter side, um, and I'm happy that it's back in the bag. <laughs> Next up, we have my Star Destroyers. I actually have three of them in the bag. Um, the oldest and most loved disc is this yellow Star Destroyer. It has starlight plastic in the rim. Um, all the way around and I think it just gives it a little bit more glide it feels a little bit lighter in the hand it gives it more glide this one's also 168 um, it's a little bit of a pop top which I like because it's reliable in the wind and I can really tug on it really hard forehand and it'll always come back um, it's like I said the most thrown disc in my bag um, definitely my favorite disc in the bag driver then I just got this new Star Destroyer um, it's the same as the yellow one with the starlight plastic in the rim, um, but it is a 158. I just started kind of experimenting with lightweight discs and I found that it does let me throw farther without having to try as hard. So when I have to play every single weekend, it, it helps with everything. Um, this one I just added to the bag just actually this week and uh, I'm already in love with it. And the last destroyer is this uh, 168 Star Destroyer that I actually got out of an old bin um, for my friend Eric McCabe. It's a dynamic disc stamped destroyer, I guess back when they used to do stamps. Um, it is ridiculously stable. The most stable disc in my bag by far. Um, I use it for forehand in a headwind or backhand in a headwind and it always comes back. It actually doesn't even turn at all. So uh, definitely the most reliable driver in my bag. And next up we have the Firebirds. I have two in my bag. This one is the oldest disc in my bag. I've had it the longest. I got it from my best friend Dustin LeMasters from home. Um, it actually has aces on the back, but they are not my aces. <laughs> um, it's a Star Firebird. It's max weight 175. And this is uh, sort of like um, at my touch disc that I can throw forehand in the woods and it's always reliable for comeback shots. And the other Firebird, this one I got from my friend in California, Dave. And it's, the, uh, besides my Destroyer, the most stable disc in my bag. Um, it's a Champion Firebird. It's a little bit glittery, really pretty. It's a 167, because I think stable discs are a lot better when they're lighter. And the, the pair together is, I could pretty much play any round of disc golf with these two discs by themselves together. Uh, next up we have, the little bit less stable drivers in my bag. The first one is the uh, Sidewinder. It's a Champion Sidewinder. It's really old. I believe it's 175. Um, it's another dynamic disc stamp that Paige gave me. Um, it's a trophy disc from when she won a tournament in 2008 in Louisville, Texas. Um, she gave it to me and it quickly became one of my favorite discs in my bag, although it is hard to find. I use it for um, turnover backhands. And for Heiser Flip Forehands in the Woods, it is another one that um, I could not live without in my bag. And the other 
understable driver is the Champion Roadrunner. Uh, I got this out of a friend's garage. I didn't know what it was for a while. I actually thought it was a Leopard for a long time. Um, I use this one again for hyzer flip forehands and for uh, turnover backhands. I can throw it uh, with a hyzer and it'll flip up to flat and then even come out at the end. Um, I also will throw these in star plastic too, but currently this is the one that's in my bag. I highly recommend road runners for anyone looking for turnover backhands or for rollers. This guy's good. And that's all for the drivers. For fairways, I actually only have one fairway driver in the bag, uh, my KC Pro T-Bird. Um, I actually found this in a lake. It didn't have any names on the back, so I got really lucky with this one. Um, it's really pretty. It flies really straight. I think it's, it doesn't have a weight listed on the back, but I believe it's around 168 or 170. Um, I use this for my dead straight forehand shots. It's like the best woods disc you'll ever have. Um, I can throw it flat and it stays flat the whole way and finishes reliably. Um, this one, uh, I don't really throw backhand a lot, but it is perfect for forehand approach shots. And for my mid-ranges, I carry two, but that does change a lot. My bag changes more than most uh, disc golfers do. <laughs> um, the, my go-to would be this one, which I call it my Yodi, short for Coyote. Um, I got it at a used bend at the Clearwater Disc Store, and it, I thought it was a Coyote. You can't see the ink on the back, and I was actually wrong. It's, I think it's an old Mako 3, um, but it doesn't have a weight or anything on the back, but um, it's uh, really beat in. I got it this way when I found it in the used bin. It had no stamp. Uh, it was already all beat in, so it's perfect. And um, I use this for flat, hyzer flip to flat backhand shots in the woods. It's uh, my, my most touchy backhand disc that I use and also really smooth turnovers that will always finish out flat. And this is my Rock 3. I got this twin disc from my good friend Kobe and uh, I've recently just got a new one because mine got a little bit too beat in for me, but I can use this one in a headwind. Um, I used to have a KC Pro Rock as well that I threw into a fence and it got messed up. So this is my replacement for that right now. It's brand new. Um, and it's been working well for me. And I don't, this is my last mid-range disc, but I almost consider it a putter because they're so stable, but this is my gator. Um, it is a beadless gator. I, the, um, I don't really like beads at all on discs, so beadless is always better. So I, I have these discs that are always impossible to find, but um, the best discs ever. They feel a lot better in the hand with, without a bead, I think, for forehand, and that's what I use them for is my forehand approach shots. Uh, I'm just starting to use it for backhand approach shots as well, but it's the most uh, reliable mid-range just you can get as far as using it in any sort of crazy wind. This start gator. And onto my putters. I carry two different types of putters, my putting putters, and my favorite disc in my bag besides my Firebird is this uh, Pro Rhino. Um, I use these for forehand approach shots and you will see me throw it on every single hole. Um, if you wanted to take me down, take this out of my bag. This is my baby. Um, I use it for forehand approach shots, long, short, and also any sort of layup shot because it goes exactly where you throw it and it always reliably uh, lands flat even in the wind. Um, this disc has probably been thrown in more than any disc in my bag from the fairway. Uh, so, it, you know, the more I throw it, the more I love it. Even when it gets all wonky and weird shaped, it is the best. And it is max weight, 175. And then my absolute number one favorite disc in my bag are the, my putting putters, the XT Colts. Um, I used to use a Dismania P3 for putting, but they were a little bit too stable. And, but I liked them because they were shallow and I found Innova released these and I found them um, and basically it was like uh, my firstborn child finally and it, they feel really nice in the uh, in the rim because they're so flat and I have a little bit smaller finger so an AVR, an AVR is a little bit too dishy for me so this one works well it does have a little micro bee but it's not enough to bother me I think it feels really nice in your hand um, also the team stamp is really pretty <laughs> but these are uh, I would call them a stable putter um, they go right where you put them, but they always do reliably finish to the left. So um, they're great for wind and they're great for spin putters and for people that like a little bit of a flatter disc like a classic rock uh, or something or an XD, something along those lines. 
Um, but these make putting a joy. They make putting practice fun. Um, they're the best disc ever. And also great throwers. If you are looking for a disc to throw, a putter to throw, they're great throwers. Um, forehand, backhand, all around. I always carry, uh, just for other stuff in my bag, I think it's cool to know what people carry um, besides disc, although that's the most important part. But um, number one, the my whale sack. This is my signature uh, whale sack. It has sharks on it and my signature in the sharks. Uh, Tina Sonatis is a good friend of mine and uh, she hand makes these and I just thought they were the coolest things ever. Uh, they also don't put too much chalk on your hands, which I um, which I enjoy because I don't feel like I need that much. But they have the uh, sharks on them, so it's like my whale shark. Um, I like a lot of keychains. I have a ton of stuff. I have my local bag tag from my club in Pensacola, Florida, where I'm from. Um, I have a light on my bag, so if I'm playing a glow round and I don't want to lose my bag. <laughs> uh, I have a, a basket pin that I found in Nantucket on the ground. The tournament director told me I could keep it. I did not steal it. <laughs> um, I have my possum bag tag over here. This is one of my uh, local clubs from Florida. It's just a bunch of my favorite um, guys. <laughs> uh, I have a whole bunch of carabiners, that kind of stuff. My mini. This was made by my best friend Kobe Geis. Um, it is my dog, Bougie. Uh, standing amongst the daffodils. <laughs> this uh, I've had this for two years now, which is impressive because I constantly lose my minis and this guy I've managed to hold on for two full years. So um, I also have the this wood pencil that I got from Pam and Sandy in Florida, two of the ladies that got me thrown in of a discs and I really cherish this. I would be very sad if I lost this. And I always think it's mandatory that you carry Sharpies. So I have a bunch of Sharpies and um, I think that's about does it. My water bottle. <laughs> you will never catch me on the course without this in my bag. Um, this is definitely the most important thing in my bag by a long shot. Oh, and this is something that I added to my bag. Paige gave me a, an alpaca button and it's sort of like my good luck charm. I keep it on here all the time. And um, no matter what bag I have, I'll always transfer this guy over. Um, and try to keep it. It's like kind of a little nervous habit. I'll rub on it while I play disc golf. Well, thank you guys for watching my In the Bag. Um, I hope you thought it was as fascinating as I think it is. Uh, thank you, Jomez, for doing the video. And uh, hope to see you guys out on the course this year because I will definitely be around.